he has legitimately dragged that Commodore all the way down from Gisborne and he is representing New Zealand as, our, well, as the New Zealand title holder. And actually have a quick look at car 62C, Dave McSherry. Those of you that are really astute will notice that they will touch on that one depending on how his night goes. Anyway, we're in the starter's hands. We move to the waiting for the race to Dave McSherry. Michael Jones up the inside in the 29 car on the 72. And the 92 is pulling into a flat right front and smoke blowing out of the 29 car. As we look to our race leader across the start finish line on a very just using that mid to high part of the track. Simon Brand carries a huge amount of momentum through three and four. And it's a lot pretty easy to stick the nose of the Commodore back up to the inside. And he might have got blamed on this one. As we whoa, the 46 car cannonballing up the back end of the the uh, Ivan Hill machine just straight off the head down the three and Ivan Hill looking now up by the wall. Doesn't seem to have slowing anyone else down. And Leslie's having a crack here for the race lead. He's found a better line for the Commodore and gets up inside Rob McSherry. Fires the big 92 and sideways in front of Gooch. Steve Peterson through the infield to get back out on the track. The race leaders will go through. We're getting a little antsy. We're, we're away on a race. We pull Leslie. Sean Andrew and the pack bunching right up as they head into turn two. Gooch sitting back in the one NZ car. He's just letting them have a bit of a feel out. It is the NZ 433, Matt Peterson. There's the Steve Peterson having a look at the inside of Sean Andrew. And Leslie just uh, using that bumper to good effect, trying to unsettle the 433 car. Whoa, we've got cars ricocheting everywhere. One's running the wrong way and it all came out of Rob and Cherry and caught the middle of that. I think it would have been the 29 car that went round. We look to the start finish line. Still Peterson back to Leslie and Andrew. Andrew Fitzgerald there and Chris Alpert did have a bit of a battle with Pat. Tom McSherry joining behind the back of Steve Peterson in the 28. And Rob McSherry's now look at the speed the 92 car carries in. He is screaming down to turn two. Uh, Rob McSherry looks like he's on a mission right on the heels of his brother. Steve Peterson just getting held out wide at the moment. Race leader is Matt Peterson. Big smoke. Leslie will take the race. Leaders are heading to a viral race. And Matt Peterson will come back at him. The Commodore might just have the legs on the Falcon as we head down to turn two. Good battle here. But I think Leslie might have just done enough to add, eke it out and get a couple of back markers to deal with. The 73 car limp into the infield. And it is Paul Leslie, Matt Peterson, Tom Cherry. And Leslie got a bit taily there. He's opened the door for the 433 to have a crack back in it. And he gives him a big hurry up mid-corner. It does. And it allows him to push his Leslie out wide. So Matt Peterson gets a little bit loose himself. He's going to have to give him a big snooker down at two if he's going to get past him. As Leslie washes out wide, Peterson gets a smoother line off, but it's only going to be a big late break. Lots of flashes from the cameras. And it will be Paul Leslie in the transform car. Three turns of one and two, gets the tail hanging out, but Matt Peterson's not going to be able to do it. Leslie takes the back to Peterson with it. Tom McSherry. And that was our final bit of our street stops as our one NZ decides to eat some concrete as he comes down the front straight. I have to say, Paul Leslie, he's, that car is quick, he's a quick driver. Great lines, that, that car obviously very powerful, very well set up, um, but he uses it to really, really good effect, doesn't he?